YouTube, it's your boy Anime Specialist. So, One Piece episode 814, we go right back to Pedro and Brooke. Pedro is used as a decor for Brooke to go to the room where the Poneglyphs are. Brooke finally arrives there, but there's a lot of enemy, and because of that, he uses one of his new abilities, and his abilities can extract souls out of people. So yeah, that was new, and it's a similar ability to those of Big Mom. Big Mom can extract souls from people and put it into an object. I'm interested in how Big Mom is going to react to Brooke's ability because it's very similar. Both uses soul, both can extract souls from people or objects, so I'm happy for that. And one last thing about Brooke's ability is I think there's more about it. I think he can do more things with it, but for now he can extract souls from objects and people, I think, so yeah. After that, we got back to the mirror world where Chopper and Carrot got captured. And if you remember well, before they got captured, they devised a plan. And the plan was to get not Carrot captured, but one of her clones. So Carrot was waiting in the attic for Chopper's signal to attack. Soon after that, they finally started their plan to escape. And the way they defeat Brule is they drop their whole soup, boiling soup, on her. And the ironic thing is... Brule in English is burnt, so it's kind of funny because she's being burned by the bowling soup and it's her name in French, so that's kind of funny for me. And after that, Chopper transforms into Monster Puento, so they're gonna escape in a way, I don't know how yet, but they have to escape from the mirror world and I don't know how they're gonna do that, but we'll see this in the next episode. After that, in the end of the episode, Pudding go visit Nami and Luffy and she says to them that Sanji proposed to marry her. It looks like she's not gonna refuse and it seems like she really likes Sanji and she's a little bit selfish about it. Like I said in my other One Piece videos, I don't trust Pudding a bit. I don't know, she just seems off to me but we'll see if I'm wrong in the next episodes or so. So now I'm not going to talk about the whole episode preview. I'm just going to talk about this scene right there. It looks like it's Reiju bleeding. I don't know what's happening. Maybe her brothers just beat her. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, I'm hyped about the episode. I want to know what's happening to Reiju. Because she's one of my new favorite characters. And she's the only Vince Moe besides Sanji that I'm cool with. But yeah, I really want to know what's happening. Because she's bleeding. Uh, we see blood on the wall and everything. So yeah, uh, that was my review for today's episode. I do these kind of reviews every Saturday night. Go watch my other One Piece videos. Like, comment, subscribe for more. I'm working on a video right now. It's maybe going to be up next week. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. Peace.